meticulously dated and titled each one. And then there is those who believed when the word of God is fulfilled. This is people in the world who may not even know of the prophecy and then come to find out that the prophecy was there before the fulfillment. And so one of the things that has been on my heart to talk about even before this has happened is the warlock, the wizard, the marine pastor, TB Joshua. So here we are now, it is two years. Two years since you were warned. Two years since you were told to stop following and watching TB Joshua's broadcast. In January 5th, 2021, the Lord listed names of people that he was going to take away. One of them was TB Joshua. TB Joshua lost his life shortly after that. People wept for that man. They cried, a son of God, they said. A mighty leader fallen in the earth, they said. And yet, that man was in depths of witchcraft, depths of occultism. This is drawing power from another realm. He is being exposed now by BBC for all the people who fall into group two, people who only believe when the prophecy fulfilled. So I'm getting tagged on TikTok now. He's being exposed by, by the BBC, but I did not need the BBC to tell me who he was because the Lord said that TB Joshua was a warlock. He was a high ranking warlock, the type they call a mage. This is when a magician has risen to the highest possible level that you can go. There's nowhere else. The only thing that you can do after that is to become a fallen angel yourself. This is the highest of the arts, the deepest of the knowledge. I'm not going to watch any documentary because there's no need to. This man was deep in the Marine Kingdom. This man had the power to astral project. His acolytes constantly defended him and defend him still as a man of God. Why? Because they dreamed of their papa. The only problem is that papa was in your dreams through astral projection. And when people come into your dreams through astral projection, they most often are sowing captivity and death. Simultaneously sometimes, or pretty consecutively one after the other. They rob you spiritually. You should not have people prancing through your dreams without purpose. If the Lord wants to deliver a message to you, he can use a face, but what is that face doing? What is that face telling you? When I began to bring out these revelations, oh, the backlash, the rage, how dare you touch the anointing of God, the anointed, touch not my anointed. Church of Jesus Christ, do you know what the anointing is? The anointing is the living power of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit. In the old days, it was represented by the pouring of oil upon the vessel God had chosen, the king, the priest, the prophet.